For months now, the Russian capital has been getting something of a facelift. Thousands of workers have been renovating the city's roads, squares and parks as Moscow prepares for its September 8th mayoral elections. But not everyone is excited about the coming vote. I'm not going to vote this time because everything is predetermined. There are these puppets who play their parts in the show and my voice isn't important. These elections are good. You can see for yourself that Moscow is more beautiful, especially in the centre. I like it very much. But apart from the work, there is hardly any sign of campaigning, with only a few election posters and banners around. The authorities don't seem keen to even let journalists film the outside of City Hall. You're not allowed to film here. It's a very important building and it's protected. You don't have the right to film. The pro-Kremlin incumbent mayor and former Kremlin official, Sergei Sobyanin, is the overwhelming favourite to win the vote. Appointed to the post in 2010, he is known for having transformed the 12 million strong capital, creating a series of pedestrianized streets and even a bicycle hire scheme. Perhaps his most visible achievement is the renovation of Gorky Park, formerly a rundown Soviet era relic. His main rival is Alexei Navalny, an eloquent lawyer who gathered a huge following during political protests that began in late 2011 and who fearlessly mocks President Putin. Navalny faces jail after being convicted of embezzlement in a disputed trial last July. His campaign promises to fight corruption and immigration, but he says that he has faced constant setbacks from the authorities. We're not allowed to hold public gatherings with more than 3,000 people. There's obvious pressure placed on radio stations who refuse to air our campaign adverts, even after we've paid. It's the same on the internet. Russia's largest social network refuses to show our adverts. The four remaining election candidates are relatively unknown, leaving Navalny as Subyanin's only real challenger in Saturday's election. And in the meantime, Moscovites can at least enjoy the spruced-up city that the competition has spurred.